I've always been skeptical of the notion that the liberal media are full of pedos until I saw the mad vitriol with which the media have been attacking Jim Caviezel's new movie about child sex trafficking, The Sound of Freedom. This film is being marketed to either specific QAnon believers or to people who believe all of the same tenets as QAnon, but claim they don't know what it is. And The Sound of Freedom does focus on a real issue of sex trafficking. Uh, But that theme, it's sort of like that kernel of truth that feeds the QAnon conspiracy theory. Uh, Tell us how those two things work together. Sure. And the most durable and the most believable conspiracy theories are not entirely false. There's something in them that is true and the rest of it is false. But the believers point to the one true thing and they say, oh, you don't believe that this particular thing is true. In terms of child trafficking, we know trafficking is real. We know it has real victims. No one is denying that. But these films are created out of moral panics. They're created out of bogus statistics. They're created out of fear. And with something like Sound of Freedom, it specifically is looking at QAnon concepts of these child trafficking rings that are run by the high-level elites. They're QAnon, QAnon, QAnon. The libs are furious. The movie hit over $18 million in its box office opening six days ago. It's already grossed over $40 million within a week. It is a certified hit. So desperate to convince people to stop seeing it, the media are now trying to link the movie to QAnon, Washington Post, quote, Sound of Freedom is a box office hit whose star embraces QAnon. The Guardian, Sound of Freedom, the QAnon adjacent thriller seducing America. And Rolling Stone, Sound of Freedom is a superhero movie for dads with brain worms. The QAnon tinged thriller about child trafficking is designed to appeal to the conscience of a conspiracy addled boomer. Now, I don't know much about QAnon. The only people I ever hear really talk about QAnon are the liberal media. I run in lots of conservative circles all over the country. I don't hear about it. I turn on CNN for five seconds. It's all they talk about. But what's really strange about this coverage is that the movie is based on a true story. It's the story of how a real guy, Tim Ballard, rescued kids from sex trafficking. So the libs are saying that a true story, an indisputably true story, is QAnon adjacent, which means some people really do believe in QAnon. The liberal media, who spent the whole weekend inadvertently insisting that the theory is true. Right now, text Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, to 989898 as central banks in countries such as China, India, and Australia begin looking to transition to a digital currency The Federal Reserve has been contemplating the same for the U.S. With a digital currency, the government could track every single purchase you make. Officials could even prohibit you from purchasing certain products. Officials could easily freeze or seize part or all of your money. Times like these are a great reminder to diversify a portion of your savings into gold. You can do that with the help of Birch Gold. They are who I get my gold from. So do thousands of other concerned savers. Birch Gold will help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into an IRA in gold. You don't pay a penny out of pocket. When currencies fail, gold is a safe haven. How much more time does the dollar have? Protect your savings with gold. Birch Gold has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Thousands of happy customers. Text Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, to 989898. Get your free info kit on gold. If a central bank digital currency becomes a reality, it will be nice to have some gold to depend upon. Text Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, to 989898. Right now, go to helixsleep.com slash Knowles. With everything going on in the world right now, you could really use a good night's sleep. That is why you got to check out Helix Mattress. Helix has harnessed years of extensive mattress expertise to bring their customers a truly elevated sleep experience. They just launched their new Helix Elite. The Helix Elite collection includes six different mattress models, each tailored for specific sleep positions and firmness preferences. I've had my Helix for about three years now. I absolutely adore this bed. Night after night, I sleep like a sweet little baby. I want the same for you. Helix has a sleep quiz that matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress. Because why would you buy a mattress that was made for someone else? Why do you want to get into my mattress, huh? I'm a married guy. You need to get your own mattress. Go to helixsleep.com slash Knowles. Take their two-minute sleep quiz. 
to find the perfect mattress for your body and sleep type. Their flexible payment plans make it so that a great night's sleep is never far away. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for my listeners. Hurry on over to helixsleep.com slash Knowles. With Helix, better sleep starts now. They're saying it's all a crazy conspiracy theory. It's the QAnon, about which I know pretty much nothing. QAnon, from what I can tell, is this crazy conspiracy theory that there is an elite pedophile ring that involves some of the wealthiest and most influential people in the world. And uh, just apropos of nothing, uh, here is an interview that uh, has recently come out from one of Jeffrey Epstein's victims. I have uh, spent the last 17 years in my own prison for what she, Jeffrey, and all the co-conspirators did to me. I was raped repeatedly. I was raped three times a day sometimes. And I was not the only girl on that island. There was a constant stream of girls being raped over and over and over again. And yes, Ghislaine must die in prison because I've been in hell and back for the last 17 years. And 27 for me. I was 10 years old when Liz Stein was being trafficked. I was 10. That is how long the sex trafficking ring has been going on for. What is the claim of the liberal media here? They just slap this label, QAnon, QAnon, whatever that is, the thing that you've only ever heard about from the liberal media. But what are they actually saying? They're denying the existence of sex trafficking? No, you heard the CNN lady admit no sex trafficking is a real problem. Are they not denying the existence of elite sex trafficking rings? They probably are because the liberal media tried to kill the Jeffrey Epstein story, but we know the Jeffrey Epstein story is real. We know that Jeffrey Epstein was palling around with the most powerful people on earth, prime ministers, presidents, uh, royalty, uh, major financiers, heads of industry, We know that he had his own James Bond villain-esque private island in the Caribbean where he was bringing an endless slew of young girls. He was partnering with with major modeling head honchos and bringing these young girls through the island to engage in weird sex stuff with the most influential people in the world. So then, then we know that Jeffrey Epstein was arrested and mysteriously killed himself after multiple cameras malfunctioned and multiple jail employees just forgot to do their job or fell asleep on the job. What's the conspiracy theory? I don't, here's the, here's the only conspiracy that, that we haven't really solved yet. All, all of it is so far in the open. The question is, who's in Jeffrey Epstein's black book? Isn't that kind of weird? Isn't it weird that we started to prosecute Jeffrey Epstein, we did prosecute Ghislaine Maxwell, and we still don't know who his clients were? Don't expect to hear about that on the the liberal media. We're not even talking about a regular sex trafficking ring like you see in the Sound of Freedom movie, which is a very good movie, by the way. I watched the movie in an advanced screener. It's very good. Not surprised that it's doing huge box office numbers. Not surprised that the libs hate it so much. But I'm, no, I guess I am surprised that they hate it. So I'm not surprised that they hate it. I'm surprised they hate it so much. I'm surprised that they are willing to show their hand this much, that they're not only willing to, to cover for Jeffrey Epstein and downplay that story and kill that story when different reporters wanted to to bring it to public attention. But now they're trying to downplay the existence of sex trafficking entirely. They're saying, oh, that's QAnon. That's QAnon. Maybe, Maybe everything that people have said about the liberal media, maybe it's right. Boy, what a great clip that was. Make sure that you ring that bell. Subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. Don't miss a single clip or vid or interview or game or anything. See you next time.